Hey everyone, this is Olivia here with Model Space. So a while back, AIA DC approached me to make a trophy for them for some of their big donors. And originally what they wanted me to do was to make a 3D model that could be 3D printed. And I told them, well, I mean, we could do that, but I also have a full shop at my disposal. We could do something that's laser cut or CNC. And eventually I suggested CNCing something out of wood and maybe doing some cast acrylic in it. I didn't really have a design in mind, but after I gave them that idea, they came back to me with all of these different design options with that fabrication method in mind. So the intent here is to take some maple that I had on hand already, and we're going to cast in a clear outline of DC into that etched in wood. And their preferred design was this guy which technically I could have done, but there just wasn't enough time, not enough budget, so we ended up doing this version of it. And I just wanted to share the steps that I took to figure out how to fabricate this properly, the toolpath, sanding, you know, epoxy, the whole thing. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at my digital file. So I designed everything here in Fusion, and each one of these trophies has a different donor laid out on them. So unfortunately Fusion doesn't allow you to pick specific fonts so I had to pick a font that was kind of similar to what they showed me but not exact so we had to work with it. Anyway so I have all of this line work laid out and the general form that I want and the intent here was to cut out this DC form right here, but not cut out the entire outline of the trophy. That way I'll have a little bit of pocket left over so that I can cast an acrylic. And the wood right here is just going to contain that pocket. So if we were to look at this in preview mode, you can see by the end of it, we're basically going to have a pocket right here and this leftover stock is going to allow me to cast in some acrylic right here and I also didn't cut all the way to the bottom once again so that I could cast acrylic in here and once that acrylic sets up I can just cut this out and sand it out to the right consistency. Okay, so I used a variety of tools. I of course did a facing operation to clean up my top. I did some engraving and this is getting in all of our text. I did a roughing pocket right here and then I came back in with a longer thinner tool to kind of clean up those edges right there. And finally I just cut out a rough contour. So I just really used this line to line up where my saw is going to cut that trophy out of once I pull it off the machine. But you'll notice that I'm not cutting all the way to the bottom right here. Okay, let's take this to the machine. Okay, so before I start my tooling paths, I'm going to secure my stock material and you can see me screwing down some MDF to the back of my maple wood. And once I'm done screwing that, I'm going to flip the whole thing over and clamp it down. So I'm using this method so that my clamps are really far away from my tool path. Okay, so my first pass is going to be with this engraving bit, which you can see right here. And I'm going to install that into my machine and get the tool height. Once I do that, I can start engraving in some lettering. Once that engraving is done, I'm going to mill in the outline of DC with a pretty wide bit here. Once all of those holes are cut out, I'm gonna come back in with a thinner end mill and clean up those edges so I have a cleaner, crisper outline of DC. And finally, I'm just going to do a contour outline of the entire shape of my trophy. And I'm gonna use this outline later to cut out my model once all of that epoxy is set up. Okay, and now I'm ready to take it off my machine. I'm gonna unscrew that MDF, and once that's done, 
here you can see what it's going to look like before I cast in that epoxy. Okay, before I pour in that epoxy, I actually want to clean up the contour outline of the trophy. Here you can see me doing a little hot glue bridge along that contour, and this makes sure that any epoxy I pour in isn't going to spill into the rest of my trophy. Okay, so I'm going to use epoxy cast for this project. I like using this epoxy because it can be cast in really thick layers and it stays completely clear. And I'm going to mix this per its directions. And the pot life on this is pretty long. I think it's about five hours, so I have a lot of time for those bubbles to float to the top. And I'm going to set that aside and wait for it to fully cure. Okay, once that is fully cured, I can start cutting out these pieces. Now, before I cut this out on my table saw, I wanted to point out that the outline of these trophies isn't parallel with the wood stock material itself. So to fix this, I actually have to come in and kind of eyeball out that edge with a bandsaw. And now I'm going to use the joiner to smooth out that edge. Now that I have everything flat and flush, I've made sure that the outline of my trophies are perpendicular to my saw. So now I can set it up on the table saw and cut out clean perpendicular lines. So in this first pass, I'm just going to do kind of roughing cuts and then come back in with more detailed cuts. Okay, and I'm gonna clean up each one of those edges to make sure that these pieces all have the same dimension. Okay, and the last thing to do on this side is to cut out that nice angle of the trophy. So I'm using a special jig right here and adjusting it to the exact angle that I need to cut out along that edge. And you can see that I'm clamping down my piece before I run it through the table saw. And now what I'd like to do is cut the back off of these trophies so that way we can see a clear epoxy cast all the way through. And I'm going to do that for each one of these pieces. So this is going to leave a pretty rough finish. So we're going to have to come back in with this circular sander to clean up that surface. And this is what it'll look like before I do my final sand. And of course, I have to etch in my website, yourmodelspace.com. And now we're ready for a final sand. So I'm just using a palm sander right here. And I'm using 120 all the way to 1500 here. And just so you get an idea of what the final look will be, I'm running this under some water. Okay, that's how I made those trophies. Let me know if you have any questions about my process or what you think about the project. Thanks very much. Have a great day.